What's up everyone? Welcome to your 40 minute glutes and abs workout. We've got a lot of variety for you today and two rounds of every circuit for three exercises. A couple accessory options if you have them for equipment will be your glute resistance bands. We've also restocked with a lot of new colors and designs. You can check out the link in the description. Your dumbbells as always and then your kettlebell if you have one. We'll be doing swings so a dumbbell is also okay but if you have those options go ahead and pull them out as well as your bench, your water and your sweat towel. 45 second work periods, two rounds of each. Let's go ahead and crush it. All right, let's go hands on your hips, reach it back. Let's stretch out your glutes and your hamstrings first. Very proud of you for showing up today. Stagger your feet just a bit. Keep that hinge going. Front leg, back leg. To keep the variety up today, we'll have some single leg work. Okay, still want you to push strength. Still want you to push 75 to 85% of the weights that are your max for each exercise. Open it up, side to side. And as you get into the workout, keep thinking of your hype. What gets you hype? Is it the end of the workout? Is it the gains that you're seeing in your quad muscles, your glute muscles, your core? Keep thinking of your hype today. My hype is strength, it's you feeling stronger. It's our community encouraging each other. I love that so much. Last one right here. Good, heels to glutes. I love when I encourage you guys to comment to each other, great job you actually do. People are grateful, people are encouraged. And together, as a collective unit, we're getting stronger. All right, that's my hype today. So, let's go ahead and crush it together. Arms across your chest. Great work. All right, hands overhead, stretch out the side core. Two more, one and two. Good job, all right. We're gonna start off with our heavy hip thrust. You could go on the ground if you need for sort of a glute bridge, but I'm gonna go with my heavy band and I'm headed to the floor. All right, nine seconds. You got 45 of work. Three, two. All right, here we go. Nice work. Make sure you're using your glute band, it's the heavy one, okay? You're in a great position here to really push strength. 15. Good job. One more good one, four, three. Rest, drop that heavy dumbbell off to the side, roll onto your hip. We're going to either straight leg lifts or clamshell, ankles or feet together, opening just the top leg. Ready? Three, let's go. Two up and two down. One, two, one, two. This is not fast, this is very controlled. Also, don't roll back. Stay right here. I like to kind of place my arm here against my stomach and my hips so I can feel if they separate from each other. I'm rolling to get that rep started. I don't want to do that. Nine. Three. Great work. Other side. And we're keeping this one heavy because we only have two rounds of this circuit, okay? So work hard in the work. Four, two, one. There you go, stay forward with your torso. There you go, second half, right here.
15. Seven. Last one, open up four, three, two, one. All right, back to the glute bridges, let's go. Go ahead and get set up. All right, round two, give me everything here. Five, three, two, exhale. Good work. We're going for fully extended hips, which just means your glutes come together, they squeeze and lift. You're not lifting with your stomach here, not arching your low back up. 12, good work. 10. Two, one, great job. All right. Back to the first side of our abductions, either straight leg or a clamshell style. Let's go. Good work. Don't let your hips roll backwards. And if you want to kind of assure that, you can take it straight up. Hard with the heavy band, but you're strong. 14. Eight. One more, three. Rest. Good work. Other side. And then we'll head over to hamstring curls with a dumbbell. Okay, we got a 30 second breather in between though. So let's work hard. Three, two, come on. You're working heavy here in the beginning and then you're also adding in these accessories that complement the same movement pattern. Okay, with the band it's constant abduction, which is great for top part of the glutes, it's called the glute medius. It's also good for hip stabilization when you start to put weight on your body, on your hips for glute bridges, on your chest or shoulders for squats, or holding down low for deadlifts. 10, hips need to be strong and stable, and this is what we're doing here. Six, five. One more. And 30 seconds rest, good job. Now I'm gonna keep my band on. Actually, no, I'm gonna take it off. We're gonna do hamstring curls, all right? Curling here, and then I'm gonna take dumbbell options to get my arms off the floor for our hamstring pull-throughs, okay? Which look like this. We're gonna go left leg first, okay? And then right leg, but we start with our hamstring curls. Ready? Let's go. Good work. Five, two, one, rest. I'm gonna do one extra since I started late and we'll flip over. The left leg is our hamstring pull through leg. Okay, elevate your hands if you can. Right, let's go.
15. One more, four. And rest, good. Same thing, other leg stays down, okay? And then we'll go round two of all three. Four, come on up, three, two, let's go. Good, really dig your heel down and pull your hip forward. Eight. Three, two, good job. I'm gonna go a little heavier for my hamstring curls round two. You can do the same if you're able. All right, here we go, four. Let's go. Nice work, second half here. If you can go rep and a half, a little pulse at the bottom, let's do it. Good, eight. Three, last one, rest. Great work, put it down, flip it over. All right, hammy curls, let's go, two, one. Good job, think of your hamstring as the bicep of your leg, okay? Extension, flexion. Here we go, you got 10. Two, one, good, rest. All right, 15 seconds, come off your arms. All right, other leg, let's close it out. Two, one. You're right there, 20. Let's go, let's go. You got 10. One more, three. Rest. All right, Romanian deadlift and a half is up next. And then standing, we're gonna do abduction, okay? All right, I'm gonna start with my 25s. Rep and a half, so you're going down, halfway, down, all the way. Ready, let's kick it off, four. And pull.
Good, we're really working the hamstrings today. Okay, feel that stretch and then squeeze the glutes to drive the hips back forward. And rest. Good job. Throw your band on, I'm gonna go medium. And I'm going to stand and kind of support myself on the bench. Okay, left leg lifts out to the side first. All right, let's get it. Good, I've got you very stable. Okay, so if you want, you can drop to your forearms. Good stretch here. And I want your knee straight out from your hip, not behind it. You got 12. One more, four. Rest, good job. Same thing with the other leg. Just taking it right out to the side. Four. Let's go. Nice work. Second half. If you're feeling it in the glute of the leg on the ground, it makes sense. The band is pulling, so it's also fighting when it's resting. Eight. Four. And rest. You can leave the band on or you can take it off. Totally up to you. RDL and a half. Round two, go up if you can. All right, let's go. Nice job, come on. Fourteen. Five. Rest. All right. Band work. Left leg, or the leg that you started with last time. Right out to the side. Two. Let's go. And if you want to spice this one up, you can give me a lift and a half. So it'll be up, down, up, then rest. Good work. 15. Let's go, pulse it out, up, up, nine. One more, three, rest. Okay, same thing, other side. And we'll close this one out and then we're headed to a little bit of power to close out our glutes, okay? Then, rocking into core. Let's get it. And anytime you want to advance a hip abduction, you can always clamp a dumbbell behind your leg here and lift out to the side. 
Okay, maybe wrap a towel around the handle if you need to, but that's an option. 12. And rest. We got kettlebell swings. If you don't have a kettlebell, you're gonna go dumbbell swings, okay? You can either do one in between your legs or you can stand a little closer and do a swing here, okay? If you have a kettlebell, we're going three swings, stop and reset, all right? We're going in 10. After that, we're gonna do a clean and kind of single leg squat. Four. Let's go, power it up. Two, one, scoop. Second half. job now dumbbell or kettlebell totally up to you single side clean and squat okay two one Good. With a single side squat, really trying to target the glute on one side. The other side is definitely supporting, but not doing as much of the push. Four. Breathe. Same thing on the other arm. Let's go. Good, keep breathing. Two, rest, good work. Kettlebell swings, and because there's only two rounds, if you wanna go through without the stop, instead of doing three and reset, just keep going. Let's go. Here we go, second half, and power through, come on. Good job, 12. Four, two, breathe. Clean and squat. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Big deep breaths. All right, I'm gonna start left hand. Two, one, come on. And when you sit, think about the leg that you're working kind of staying out 
Okay, instead of letting it cave in. There you go. And that tends to shift a little bit of the power there as well. Fifteen. Other side, and if you're working on cleans and they don't feel very graceful, just think about letting the kettlebell sit right in here, the ball of it, right here. Three, two, one. There you go. Vertical forearm, let the ball sit right here in the bend of your elbow. Keep your chest up as always. Fifteen. One more, five. Two, and breathe. Good work. Amazing job. We rock into core. You're doing so good. Sweat towel down if you have a sweaty back, like me. We just need a little cushion. All right, sit up variations here. Working the rectus abdominis in a hypertrophic way. Sit up and a half. You come all the way up, drop halfway back, go all the way up again, and then to the floor. Let's go. And on this half rep, think about curling your spine in the shape of a C towards your belly button. Good job. Fifteen. Two, one, good job. Now you're gonna take that dumbbell and stretch your core out a little bit. We're taking it overhead. You're gonna tap, bring it to your face, then sit up. Okay, don't bring it forward over your belly button. Stretch and then push against resistance. Let's go. So dumbbell stays head or further back. And if you're not ready for that yet, give me the stretch. Thumbs touch, swing up. Okay. There you go. Fifteen. Four. Two. One. Breathe. Good work. Now, to break up that movement, we've got a leg raise here as our third exercise. So cross your legs, hold a weight if you can. If you're not ready for that, one leg at a time. Let's go. Great job, feel that connection. Don't let your hips roll forward. Four. Rest. Good work. Sit up and a half. All right, ready? 
Put the weight on your chest if you're ready for it. And let's go. Nice work. If you're getting close to failure, this is great. Seven. Two. Rest. Okay. Overhead. I'm gonna try a little heavier, but also I'm gonna have options to drop it back. When you take that dumbbell back, please remember to get something out of the stretch, fight against that too. Let's go. job. Second half. Seven. Two. Rest. Great job. I know you're working hard. Really proud of you. Leg raises, round two. Two, one. Good job. 15. Two, one, breathe. All right, core should be burning really well there. Now I'm gonna give you a way to use your glute bands for core, okay? I've got my light band, and the first thing we're gonna do is a canoe march in with just your left leg. Okay, so band is around your shoelaces, hands are under your tailbone, just your left leg, pull, reach. If you need to, bottom leg can be on the ground, okay? Take it wide, middle. Let's go. And you keep your toes pointed up. If you point your toe, you're gonna lose the band, right? Keep your toe here, shoelaces. Go higher if you need to. Knee, reach. Ten. Two, rest. Good job. And any variation of this single leg crunch is fine. So if you want to start up top and kind of crunch and reach, that's okay too. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Pull the other leg.
Five. <sighs> Rest. And the last round's just gonna be both legs doing the same thing, bicycles. Okay, so left, right, left, right. <sighs> Great work, support your head. Let's go, two, one, come on. And they don't have to be fast. I need you to go wide when they cross each other and then bring the toes back in towards your knee, every single position. Nice work, I know the exhaustion is there for your core, I feel it too. Keep your toes pointed to the sky. Six, pulled back towards your knee. Four, rest. Oh, okay. We got one more round through those three and that's it, okay? So left leg drives it in. If you wanna add a little spice to it, you crunch in towards your driving leg. Two, let's go. I've opted to put my other foot on the ground. Okay, just to make sure core stays strong and working well. But technique doesn't fail here. Nice work, you got 10 seconds. Give me drive and crunch at the same time. Two, one, great work. All right, that one's done. Same thing on the other side. You ready? All right, come on, stay strong. Two, one. On, one more, four. Rest, all right. The finishing 45. We're right there, okay? Cycle it out. Let's go. You and me, four, three. Trust yourself. Two, one, let's go. Drive, drive. I'm gonna keep looking over at you, giving you a thumbs up, so anytime you need it, look over. I'm with you. There you go, good job. Twist, control. Thumbs up, breathe, breathe, breathe. Second half right here, let's go. Make it your best 20 seconds of the whole day, because it's the last one. 15. 10. Three, two, one, and breathe. Using your glute band for core work. Might have been the best core exercises we've had in a couple workouts. Different form of resistance. You've made it to your cool down, by the way. Come on up to standing. Great job. I wanted a good challenge for you today, and I wanted you to feel all the ways. Go ahead and hinge forward, reach down to your toes. Feel all the ways that you can fight against resistance. We just launched our new glute resistance bands and someone mentioned, oh, it's pretty cool that you don't need dumbbells all the time to get stronger. Okay, slowly roll it up. There's a couple caveats to that. You need resistance that's gonna challenge you to get to failure and be progressive in nature. Is it always a dumbbell? Doesn't have to be, 
but it has to be a weight or some form of resistance that challenges you to push into a progressive form of training yourself, meaning it can't always be the same intensity or it can't always be the same level of difficulty for you. It has to advance a little bit over time. And also it has to be pushing you close to failure, right? If you get a ton of reps and you have a ton of volume and you're never reaching that true failure point for yourself, at some point you're gonna run out of time, number one, because you're doing so many reps of the same exercise, but also you're not ever gonna to get to that point where you have to push past muscle or mechanical fatigue. So does it always have to be dumbbells? No, it's not only gonna be glute bands, no, but it has to be resistance of some form, dumbbells, kettlebells, barbells, your body weight, bands of some sort that challenges you to get to failure. I felt that several times with the band today. Will that always be the case with every exercise that I do with the band? No, but I gotta know that about myself and I think that's a pretty cool place to be for both you and I. Sorry, we'll keep stretching. I like to talk about the science behind training a lot, but I just want you to understand how to work your body. Okay, I want you to understand how to see results. I like to explain as much of the science as I can while still pushing you, still doing the reps with you. Technique is priority. Progressive overload is priority to get stronger and different thing to add muscle to your body. Nutrition, always gonna be king for every single goal that you have. All right, gentle push forward on your hips. Open up your hip flexors here. I know you worked them hard in that core work today and your glute bridges. Great job, reach it back. Let's cross left leg over right. Hips reach back. And as you head out today, think of the way that we train today and think of how you can do that in your life. Is it always going to be your max weight day? No, but you can always give your best effort on the day that you have, all right? We don't always have the best day, but we have the blessing of a day. So give everything that you've got on every day that you're blessed to have, okay? I don't say that to be cheesy, I say that to be realistic. You're here today for a reason. You're in this spot in your life for a reason. It's not just coincidence that you are here, okay? Maybe these words hit you deep and maybe that's what you need today. Tough love sometimes is what we need to kind of get that push to recognize all these things that we're letting swirl in our mind to stress us out, to think we're not making any progress, to think this isn't worth it. You're not always blessed with the best day, but you're blessed with a day. Very blessed to be here. So take advantage of that. Take a second to be grateful. Take a second to be grateful for the potential that you have, all right? Maybe you're stalling out right now, acknowledge that. Maybe you're procrastinating right now, acknowledge that. And then move forward, all right? In action is where we need to be. Moving, pushing, driving, looking, setting goals, trying things, okay? Instead of contemplating, get into the action because you're blessed with the day that you have because you are here right now. So I'll see you for the next workout. Big thumbs up on the video and then make sure you comment below what your favorite circuit was today and then comment to your teammate above. Amazing job. I'll see you back here for the next one. Bye everyone. Woo!